Hi, and uh, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Adventures. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India, and this is the Zygu G106. And why do I have this right here, right now? That's because Rob G6CKK sent me an email earlier today and said that he had the beta version of the 1.4 firmware for the G106, and that's supposed to fix one of my biggest annoyances with this radio. And as I've said several times, even with all of its flaws, I love this little thing, but if we can fix some of those flaws, that'd be good. And no, it's not the SWR meter, if it only was that well. It is the AGC control, and if you have one of these, or if you have watched some of my Parks on the Air videos, I'll overlay a clip here shortly. Um, the AGC uses about a second to start and, and really start working, uh, or more correctly, about half a second. So the AGC circuitry on this one is, is way too slow. So let's hear how it, how it is before we update the firmware, and then we'll go ahead uh, do some magic, update the firmware. I'm not going to show you in huge step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. And then we're going to put it on the air and uh, see if it's any better. Any calls anywhere? QRZ. Sierra Oscar 5, Charlie Alpha Lima. Is that QSL? And as you probably saw in that clip or heard in that clip, it takes about 500 milliseconds or half a second for the AGC circuitry to, to really kick in. So let's go ahead, let's move into the shack, hook this radio up with a serial cable and uh, see if we can flash the firmware. And no, I'm not gonna show you how to do this because I've never done it. I got a piece of paper or more correctly a PDF from Zygu telling me how to do it and um, yeah, I'm not going to show you because I don't want to be liable if you brick your radio. So let's go ahead, let's go flash the firmware, put it on the air, and see if that helps. And just to get it verified before we get started, we're going to go through the menus here and check the firmware here. Press the version button, and you can see that it's version 1.3 from May 9th, 2023. Uh, almost or more than two years old, actually. So let's see how the version 1.4 actually does. And yes, my shack is a huge mess, but that's the way a shack is supposed to be, isn't it? So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna turn the radio off here. And I'm gonna hook up the serial cable that came with the radio. And that should be somewhere on my desk right here. And see if this pops up with a COM port. And uh, then I'm gonna do the magic and the instructions. I don't think this is an official firmware yet, so you won't be able to find it anywhere, anywhere official. But should you need it, uh, join the European Hammerhead Show Discord and uh, I'll give you some pointers. Let's put it that way. And this is the moment of truth. Firmware is flashed, so let's turn it on and see what happens. At least it turns on. Let's go into the buttons here and check version. And it says version 1.4, June 9th, 2025. Press any key to exit. Okay, we're gonna press any key to exit. Okay, I'm gonna get some coax, hook this up to the one antenna I have that is working at the moment. And that's an NFED half wave, which is tuned for 80 and basically works on 80 and 40. It's not really late enough for 80, but let's see if we can get any stations on 40 and test this. Otherwise, we'll have to take this out for a POTA in another video. So I got a piece of RG316 here. I'm gonna hook that up to my station controller antenna switch. Um, this is made by George K6VU and Sierra Radio Systems. I got a video on that and it's a really good pro product. So we got some coax here. We got the radio. Let's uh, go ahead and turn it on again and uh, see if we can hear any improvement in the AGC circuit. Mit, uh, mit 
So as you could hear, not a lot of, not very good conditions on 40. Uh, and in addition to that, a poor antenna. And the thing with this, the radio though, is that there aren't any AGC settings. So it seems to be better now. I need to test it a little bit more, but um, at least we managed to update the firmware to a recent firmware. And the fact that there is a new firmware to this radio is actually in my view pretty pretty darn impressive. Uh, Saigu does not have a huge history of releasing new firmware to older radio so uh, hopefully this is a new trend. Um, I'm looking forward to the official release of this firmware to really see what's in it except for the AGC uh, improvement or at least what I hope is an AGC improvement. I didn't notice any artifacts today so hopefully this is good. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, click that thumbs up button. If you dislike this video, the thumbs down button. Leave a, con leave a comment, consider subscribing, all that kind of stuff. I'll see you guys down the bands and in my next video. 7-3-L.